it's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Jets and the Minnesota Vikings. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Twin Cities and U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, the home of the Vikings. Thanks for having us here. Mike Tirico with Greg Oates and Potter, a couple of teams that feel like they have all the pieces, just came up short last year. They were so excited to get 2024 going and try to make another run to get into the postseason. Yeah, both these teams absolutely fall into that category, and just last year, going into the season, not only did they have playoff expectations, but in a lot of ways they had Super Bowl aspirations. They believe that if things fall out, they catch a break, they continue to stay healthy. The roster they have put together is a playoff roster, if not a Super Bowl roster. about set for football the crowd is definitely ready so are we off we go on EA Sports he worked his way across the 25 yard line here's the Minnesota offense taking the field for the first time they're led out by the number three overall pick back in the 2018 draft out of USC it's Sam Darnold if he's going to lead his team to a win, he has to be smart with his decision-making. The last thing you want to do is give the opposing team an extra possession solely because you got reckless with the ball. As long as he is calculated with those risks, I think they have a good chance today coming out on top. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Play fake to Jones. Now Darnold. as an incompletion. Look like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. That's into the hands of Aaron Jones. An early test to start this one. Third and inches. They'll go play action with Darnold. Open man, right side. He's got it. They get 16 on that connection. First down, Minnesota. Third and inches. You're thinking the tight ends are on the field to block for the back or the quarterback, but... Not here. Nice setup here, playing to the tendencies of their offense, and they come away with a nice completion. Now the man who moved inside the NFC North, the former Packer, Aaron Jones. He'll get about two. C.J. Mosley, the veteran linebacker, there to shut it down. Second down and eight. Again, it's Jones. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. Well, if you're going to run the ball in the middle of this defensive line, you better block the big man in the middle, Mike. What a great job not only defeating his blocks, but being able to penetrate enough to take the ball carrier down for a loss. That is a great play by the big man inside. Throwing on third down is Darnold. He'll take a shot here. Back to the end zone. And on third down, that ball incomplete. The intended receiver was Justin Jefferson. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. It'll be a punt coming from the Vikings. Xavier Gibson to return for the Jets. They will get away from that one, and they're going to have tremendous field position. This ball hits and goes out of bounds. 
Well, the Jets come out with Aaron Rodgers, of course. All the buildup in 2023, it lasted all of four snaps. The man is a legend. Super Bowl champ, 10-time Pro Bowler, Greg, his 20th NFL season. The coaches spend all week, Mike, drafting up their opening script. These are the plays that they feel the best with to not only attack the defense early, but try to get an idea of what sort of matchups they're going to see throughout the course of the game. Now, all of that is thrown out the window. None of the plays take into account snapping it this close to your own goal line. They've got to try to get themselves some breathing room, pick up a first down or two. That will allow them to get back on track, executing the rest of that opening script. He was looking for Garrett Wilson there. And it'll bring up second down. From the gun, Rodgers. And get about six before he's taken down. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. They go five receivers for third down and four. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And he's trying to get away, but he can't break free, and that is going to be a safety. Well, that's certainly a way to break a 0-0 ball game. A safety first point on the board, and the lead is now the bizarre score of 2-0. Well, Mike, I don't think anybody had that on their bingo card. I mean, for a safety to be the first points of a ball game is pretty uncommon, but a great job there by the defense capitalizing on the field position and coming away with the two. So now, following the safety to open the scoring, it's 2 to nothing, and here's the free kick from the 20. Here's Powell to return. The Vikings offense going to take over now for the second time. The lead is 2, and they're going to try to make something happen here, starting with a first and 10. They'll put Addison in motion. The drive begins with a carry by Jones. Here's second and six. play fake it's Darnold Doesn't it seem like that every time we see a highlight real catch, they love showing the wide receivers and the running backs, but let's give a little love to the big tight end. I mean, what an athletic play. Understanding that ball was down and away. You've got to lay out to secure it. And not only is he able to get his hands under it and catch it initially, but he's able to survive the ground. And that's a big time play. Tight end on the move left. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. Just can't seem to get anything going on every ensuing snap. They just continue to go backwards and backwards and backwards. 
They've got to find a way on first and second down to stay ahead of the chains so third down is not so daunting. So backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. And this ball incomplete on third down. Quarterback's trying to give his big tight end a chance to go up and use that large catch radius, unable to connect. A little letdown here for the tight end community, Mike. Here's Ryan right now. He's on for the second time. He'll try to get something inside the tent. And no return for it coming. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 20-yard line. The Jets' offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They trail by two, and we'll start this drive with first and ten. the shotgun, it's A-Rod. That's caught by the tight end, Tyler Conklin. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Every team understands the value of generating explosive plays, but there's a flip side. The quarterback can only hold the ball so long with how good these teams are rushing the passer. So when you can check the ball down short and gain all the yards after the catch, man, what a weapon for an offense. Set to go now on first and ten. To throw is Rodgers. That's a short one taken in by Conklin. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and ten. Rogers, RPO, quickly out to Wilson. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. First back taken in the 2022 draft, Brees Hall. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. Now a third and two. He'll try to run for it with Hall. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Zerline's kick is good. And the Jets take the rare 3-2 lead. more as the kicks away to return it's Brandon Powell and a decent return there he'll get this up just shy of the 30 out comes the Minnesota offensive unit as they get set to take over they'll start it here with a first and ten Jones to begin this drive. 
and he's strong. First down run, a pickup of nine, setting up second and short. Come up now for second down and four. Now, Darnold to the middle of the field, taken in by Allison. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances, you can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards, you got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive. And you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. Darnold to throw on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. to throw is Darnold. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So, after two straight incompletions, here's third and ten. Darnold to throw again. He was looking for Jordan Addison that time. And it's going to bring up fourth down. You talk about a quarterback getting bailed out. Man, that is a pick all day long. And as this defender enters the huddle, you see a bunch of his guys hitting him on the helmet. But I can promise you, they're saying, next time, you got to come down with that one. And we will not have a return here. This one angle out of bounds. The Jets offense ready to come back out for this next possession. Their lead is just a point. As they begin it on this drive with first and ten. The drive begins with a run, and it's Hall. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. Well, there's not a whole lot of fancy going on here, Mike. This is just kind of old-school line-up-and-run smash-mouth football. It's exactly what they did, but it still ends up in a big game, and he picks up the first down. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Rodgers now. Through the contact, it's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. The master of play action, Rodgers. Back to the left side, pulled in by Conklin. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. Great timing and anticipation. The second the tight end's head turned around, the quarterback put the ball on him, and now it's, hey, 
Let's see who wants to tackle this big guy and bring him to the ground. A first down throw from Rodgers. He's got a receiver, Alan Luzon. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Throwing a comeback route against zone coverage, it could be a little bit tricky. Remember, in zone, the defender's eyes are on the quarterback. So if your receiver doesn't sell that right, and this ball's not thrown on time, you're going to end up watching that defender take this thing up the other way. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. We are through one. The Jets have the advantage. More from the Twin Cities in a moment. We'll try again here. Second and ten. Looking to throw. It's Rodgers. That's to the running back, Brees Hall. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Nice pick up here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. On the give, it's Hall. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Here's Rogers. That's hauled in at the two. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. Nice play here by Malachi Corley, the young rookie wide receiver. And something we're going to continue to see out of him as the rest of the year unfolds is, Mike, he has such a knack for turning short throws into long gains and his ability to be a ball. Under pressure, and now he's going to go down back at the eight-yard line. Hate the play call. The best opportunity to throw the ball down this close to the goal line is usually on first or second down. Like the issue here is the quarterback has to know if my first read is not open, this ball needs to be thrown out the back of the end zone. You cannot take a sack this close to the goal line. It's back at the eight now for second and goal. Rodgers. Passed on right side by Conklin. And he's close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him short. Put him down at the one. Looking for that final yard. It's third and goal. They'll try to run with Hall. into the end zone. Reese Hall, touchdown Jets. So on third and goal, they run it in. Sometimes, Greg, that's four down territory. They didn't need to do it on fourth down, taking care of it on the third down for the touchdown. Yeah, and when you find yourself down here this close, Mike, you have to finish these drives off. I'm with you. I think he was going to give his back two shots there to punch it in, but he only needed one. Greg Zerline now for the point after. The kick is good. And the Jets are going to open up the lead to eight.
other kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Ty Chandler now to bring it back. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Vikings offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. put Addison in motion. Play fake to Jones, and now Darnold. He got all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. If your quarterback is going to make a habit, Mike, of operating outside the numbers or the outer third of the field, you better neutralize the emo. So what emo stands for is the end man on the line. It could be a defensive end, a linebacker, or any walked-up perimeter player who is responsible for setting the edge. You have to get them accounted for, because if not, you better keep your quarterback in the pocket, or else you're going to suffer a lot of sacks. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. He'll get this complete to Trent Trophy. So often sacks, especially on first down, can be drive points. But their ability here to take this from second and long to third and short, they've got a really good opportunity here, Mike. If they don't get it on third, don't be surprised if they go for it on fourth. Third and short yardage, and here's Darnold. Short pass taken in by the tight end. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, they give it to Jones. Only up to about the 41. Look him up on a second down and eight. Darnold now to throw. Here comes the screen to Joe. And the work this Close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Third and a yard. To try and run for the first down with Jones. A terrific run there the way down to the 30-yard line. And after parting ways with the Packers, Jones kind of surprised some by staying in the NFC North. He signs with Minnesota, and he joins an offense that is loaded with talented skill players. So if he can continue to be the playmaker he's been throughout his career, they've got themselves a nice young group here in Minnesota, especially on the offensive side of the ball. First and 10. They'll go play action with Darnold. Into the familiar hands of Justin Jefferson. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. So the longer that play progressed, the more difficult it is to cover that crossing route. So what's the key? It starts with pass protection. Give the quarterback time to stay with his receiver and not be forced to check that ball down. They'll run it here with Jones. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front. And he's in. Aaron Jones. Touchdown, Minnesota.
on now for the extra point. Here's Will Riker. The kick is good. And the Vikings move back to within one. more as the kicks away Set to return is Xavier Gibson he'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25 yard line Brees Hall making his way back out there as the Jets are on offense again they'll see if they can put something together here beginning with first and 10 Play action. Fortunately for them, they can regroup, get back in the huddle, and live another day. Ball falls into the hands of his own guy, and they'll see if they can dodge this bullet. On the shotgun, it's a -Rock. A throw left side, taken in by Wilson. And he's going to be running out of bounds, but not until he gets down to the 40-yard line. Rodgers finding Wilson for a big one. And even 30 yards. We see so many wide receivers in today's NFL that almost resemble more of a running back style. When they get the ball in their hands, not only are they able to pick up big yards, they're able to fight through tackles and make people miss. That's an element that a lot of offenses are searching for. It takes a lot of pressure off the quarterback. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. Break the huddle. It's second and five. Working out of the gun, it's Rogers. And it'll be taken down at the 25 yard line. Boy, some bulk in the formation on that right side here for first and ten. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. to Wilson. Two minutes to play in a tight one-point game in this first half. We'll have more from Minneapolis. 
like this. On third down, Rodgers. That is brought in at the top. And he will have a first down, but I don't think that's going to stand. They're already heading backwards. Task now a really tough one. Third and very long. Rodgers going up top again. And that is incomplete. He was looking for a Malachi quarter. And now it's fourth down. On comes Greg Zerlock to try the field goal. This one from 52 yards away. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Jets going to tack on three more. Extending the lead here late in the first half. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Chandler now to return it and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive here comes Aaron Jones and the Viking offense as they take over once more they trail by four a touchdown gives them the lead drive begins with first and ten From the shotgun, here's Darnold. That's caught by Jones out of the backfield. He'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. Here's third and seven. To throw is Darnold. And that is incomplete. Here's their punter now as he is on to punt for Minnesota. Fair catch called and made right there at the 25-yard line. The Jets offense back onto the field for their next possession. The lead sits at four, so they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Try again. It's second and ten. Rodgers now. Back into the hands of Xavier Gibson. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield.
Here's first and ten. Now Rodgers. total before half and that's great but somehow they still find themselves trailing and that's the only thing that matters Stop just under 30 seconds to go in this second quarter. It is third and ten. Rogers. Down here comes the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt. Brandon Powell returns for the Vikings. Now a fair catch, and it's going to be a long field. They'll take over right about their own 13. The Vikings offense going to get it one final time in this first half. This will begin at their own 13-yard line. So work to do starting with this first and 10. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. In motion, it's Jefferson. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. So we've reached halftime, and the visiting Jets are in front, as we'll send you down to Orlando now, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our Halftime Report. We were treated to a solid first half out of the running back, Brees Hall. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. These two teams making their way back out of their locker room, so that means we're just about set for the second half. And to bring it your way, we go back out to Mike and Gray. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see if we can come out with a hot hand in this second half. About to get started. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. Across the 20, they'll mark them down before the 25-yard line. That's where the offense will take over. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. First and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. They're going to start this drive on the ground. It's Hall. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Second down and eight. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Pass on right side by Conklin. Ten yards. 
yards. The gain on the pitch and catch. And the Jets have a first down. Here's Rodgers. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. An enviable spot to operate from. His second in inches. They'll send a tight end in motion. Second down, a run with Hall. And that should be enough. He works his way forward to pick up a first down. Now an injury timeout. That's Brees Hall, who is struggling a bit after that play. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. first downs and they're at the 46 now it's first and 10 to throw is Rogers that one caught by Wilson and they're going to work this down inside the 45 a fresh set of downs to work with it is first down and 10 Throwing Rodgers. There's that man again. Another catch. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Here's a second and three fourth coming. RPO quick throw, grabbed by Wilson. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. to throw and he's in Mike Williams touchdown New York you can just see the comfort Mike that this offense continues to play with the early momentum in the first half has carried here after the break and you can see this group just slowly starting to pull away and I'm thinking Greg about the guys on the other side you're waiting at halftime that other offense waiting to get back on the field what happens they come right out extend the lead and now the task gets a lot tougher for the second half. Now Zerline for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Jets will extend this third quarter lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. How now to bring it back. And this will work out quite well. They'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The home team's offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. 
The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. He let this go deep for Jefferson. Now we'll get a two-point try here. Darnold has the offense lined up. He'll look to throw. And he'll get into the end zone. Doing it on his own. Successful two-point conversion. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Davis now to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So now Rodgers and the Jets ready to take over once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now, we'll try to keep it going. Set to go now on first and ten. From the gun, Rodgers. A throw left side taken in by Corley. And will mark him down just shy of the 40. From the 39, here's a first and 10. The shotgun, it's A-Rod. That's to the right side, he's got Corey. They face second down and seven. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. To the air once more, it's Rodgers. They'll set up the screen to Hall. The screen works for 10 yards and a first down. The best time to call a screen is when the defense is anticipating pass. So some of these third and medium, third and long situations, it's the perfect time. Allow that defensive front to rush the passer. Just get through the offensive line enough before you drop it to your back. Get out behind those big offensive linemen and pick up the first down. They'll run. This is Hall. He looks forward for maybe a yard. They catch him up from the linebacker's spot to make the tackle.
Here's a second and nine. Shotgun snap. He'll look to throw. On comes the punt team now for the Jets. The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. Trying for the old school coffin corner. That's pretty close out of bounds they're going to mark it at the five yard line well done justin jefferson and this vikings offense heading out for their next possession they'll have a long field ahead of them as they start first and ten Receiver in motion, headed left. First rule of backed up offense, get the first, first down. The last thing you want to do, punt the ball back and give your opponent a short field. Mission accomplished. Now, can they maintain possession long enough to see if they can cap this drive off with some points? Throwing on first and 10 is Darnold. And nothing cooking on that one. He'll be met and tackled behind the line of scrimmage. When you call a bubble screen, you're really putting a lot of faith that your skill players, your wide receivers and backs, are going to be able to hold up there in space as blockers. And when you don't, sometimes you end up going backwards. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. That's to the right side and incomplete. Third and long. Here's Darnold again. And that is incomplete. It'll be a punt coming up for the Vikings. Catch called and taken right at the 30-yard line. The Jets offense and Aaron Rodgers getting ready to go once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll run it out of the gun, and it's Hall. And they'll be set up now, up past the 40 with that one. So as we take a look at the box score, Mike, you realize here they got the lead. We're in the second half, but they don't have a lot of rush yards. It's because they use the passing game to score points and establish the lead. Now, how we judge their run game is from here to the end of the game. Can they pile up yards now in the second half and close this game out? And he's brought 
down after a game of six on first down. We'll come up now for second down and four. Off the play fake, Rodgers. Wide open, he's the tight end, he's got this one. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. Now this is here, and a penalty. I think somebody moved early up front. second and ten. He'll go again with Hall. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. from 41 yards out. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Jets will extend their third quarter lead. away. How now to bring it back. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. That's going to be incomplete, and the clock will stop. Likely one more play in this third quarter. I think that's one of those cases where he just tried to put a little bit too much on it and fit it into that window, Mike, and sails it high. Give his guy a chance to bring that one down. Put that ball on his chest and help him secure that catch. At this level, when you're that open, that ball has to be complete. He's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of action. Coming up, 
This is third down. Here's Darnold. He'll be stopped here short of the first down marker. Penalty flag is out as well. We're about ready now for the punt. We'll be forced to punt, trailing here in the fourth quarter. Now, fair catch is made, and it's just inside the 15-yard line. So now the Jets' offense ready to take over once more. They work with a six-point advantage as they start this drive on first and ten. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. To get this complete, it's Williams over the middle. A good spot here, second and a yard. A run here with Paul. Huge run, but enough to move the chain. Now Rogers. This complete to Corey. He'll try again here, second and ten. We give to Hall. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Well, that second down play call is not real fancy, but at this point, Mike, they're in a battle with the clock. How much time can they run off and try to protect this lead? But now it brings up a pretty interesting third down. Can they keep the ball and finish this thing on offense, or are they going to have to punt it away? and have their defense finish the game. On third down, Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. That is a letdown there. Pass look to be on target. No catch. And now fourth down. On now comes the punt team for the Jets. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. This one fielded out beyond the 25. And how about that? Nice return there, picking his way up past the 35-yard line. The home team's offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. They'll put Addison in motion. They'll stick to the ground. And he will wiggle his way forward for a gain of a couple. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. Got a man, that's Sherfield. Sure get about six before he's taken down. Here is a big one. Third down 
and two. Darnold now to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Special teams on the field, ready for this punt. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The visitors offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll start out first down and 10. Second and two. Throwing Rogers. Pass caught right side by Conklin. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. here first and ten Rogers now going left side and it's taken in by Williams Just a couple and sets up third down. Rogers going up top again. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense, and you don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock, but the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter with the lead. The goal is we want to end the game with the ball. So that third down conversion is going to go a long way. Protect the ball, continue to pick up first downs. If they do that, I don't even think their opponent sees the ball again. And he's brought down a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. They'll throw again. Here's Rodgers. And on the sideline, Williams pulls it in. An opportunity for what could be a game ceiling touchdown right here. First down and goal. Oh, the pressure too much, and he goes down. Feels like they needed that sack this entire drive. It feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to. So to be able to take a deep breath now, disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack, it might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field. Here's Hall. He'll take this one down to the eight-yard line. The 
this crowd into it now as we get to third down. And the shotgun, it's A-Rod. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Mike Williams. Touchdown, New York. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Following the touchdown, the Jets have Rodgers ready to go for two. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. That'll be caught. And he is not going to get in. Stop on the try for two. The lead remains right where it is. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Chandler now to return it the Vikings offense starting to trot out for this next possession they'll do so with first and ten From the gun, it's Darnold. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. We'll try again. It's second and ten. To throw is Darnold. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Two incompletions to start the drive, and it leads to third down and ten. Darnold to throw. And that is incomplete. Not exactly the type of drive to write home about, Mike. Three passes, three incompletions, no yards gained. And I really can't blame any of these fans who have continued to voice their frustration, especially after that last series of play calls. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. That one complete to Sherfield. And he's going to pick up the Vikings' first down. That'll be a gain of 15 on fourth down. To throw again is Darnold. Fires quickly. It is complete on the slant. Now, second and inches. Here's Darnold again. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Defense got lucky on that one. There's no one accounting for the running back out of the backfield as they should have. And fortunately for them, he bails them out by not securing the catch. Here's a big one. This third down. Darnold to the air once more. 
The throw here is complete. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They've got all three timeouts left, but need to score quick. It's first and ten. This pass, right side, going to be caught by Addison. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. This receiver went a long way to catch this ball. He started all the way out on the left side of the formation. And look where he catches it, Mike. He's all the way on the right side of the field. He just continued to work through those open zones, eventually found one, and the quarterback was able to put it on him for a nice game. These are the kind of plays that give running backs bad names. I mean, there's nothing fancy about this. You're wide open. The ball's on target. He just flat out dropped it. He'll try again here. It's second and ten. They'll drop to throw. Down inside the ten. And he's into the end zone. Justin Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Really nice job there by the receiver. Understanding what to do after you secure the catch. And the ability to target him in the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. If you can hit them in stride and be accurate with the ball, there is a lot of green grass to pick up yards after the catch, and he's able to take this one all the way into the end zone for six. Riker, good with the extra point. The Vikings have picked the deficit to five. figure they got to have this one as they'll try an onside kick. All right, so you take your shot, you don't get it. But now your defense has to save the day. You've got all three timeouts. You've got to get a stop here, force them to punt the ball back, and give your offense a chance to win the game. The Jets offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. Here's first and ten. They will run it over center with Hall. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E.
Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. Yeah. 